At 6.11, the New Orleans Pelicans center DeMarcus Cousins towers over the 64.8-inch tall Chevrolet Trax crossover. Like the NBA All-Star Center, though, the Chevy's height is key to its function. As are many of its closest competitors, the Trax is essentially a raised version of a subcompact hatchback, in this case the Chevrolet Sonic. Chevrolet sure has taken the lift seriously with the Trax. Towering over the Sonic by 5 inches, the Trax is among the tallest of its peers, only the boxy Jeep Renegade is a hair taller, at 66.5 inches, while the Mazda CX-3 is several inches shorter. As you can probably guess by its gawky proportions, the Trax also is among the narrowest of these little SUVs, with just 5 inches up top, it would be as tall as it is across, something that's definitely not true of Cousins. A visual update for 2017 has helped mitigate the Chevy's dorky stance, and the new Trax is more handsome than it was before. Broader headlights make the front end look wider, while the larger grille opening ties the Trax in with Chevy's larger and recently redesigned Equinox and Traverse SUVs. The taillights look more modern, and a faux skid plate carries over in an attempt to convey an impression of ruggedness, despite the Trax's economy car underpinnings. In no small part due to its stature, the Trax has an upright seating position that affords fantastic visibility out front through the large windows. By our measures, the Trax's seating height is above that of the Jeep Renegade by half an inch, and it's more than 4 inches higher than that of the Mazda CX-3. Headroom is plentiful front and rear, we'd wager that even Cousins could fit in the back seat with a bit of space to spare. Even if his knees were splayed uncomfortably, Despite the extra height, however, the Trax's cargo area isn't all that much larger than the Sonic's. 19 cubic feet are available behind the rear seats, less than in the Honda HR-V and the Kia Soul, both of which provide 24 cubic feet. If you want to expand that space, you'll find that the Trax's rear seats aren't the easiest to fold, you must flip up the bottom cushions before folding the seat backs forward, an extra step that most rivals don't require. The updated interior does benefit from several new features. Push-button start, forward collision warning, and lane departure alert are now part of the options list, while a 7.0-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto comes standard on even the base LS. The dashboard's materials are improved somewhat, although certain pieces such as the shifter and the climate controls still look and feel cheap. A more egregious offense in our tested $27,290 tracks premier than in lower priced models like the picture tracks LT.